Hey guys, today we're back in my 2022 Subaru BRZ. One of my few complaints about this car has always been the poor and kind of lazy throttle response that this has. This is an electronically controlled throttle. It's not a cable throttle like the good old days. I watched a regular car reviews video a few months ago and he kind of alluded in the review that the vehicle had a throttle controller and it helped it feel a little bit more cable-like, a bit more responsive than the standard BRZ. The car wasn't tuned, it was factory, it was all stock. And so ever since then, I've been curious about the same thing. So in today's video, we've installed a pedal commander in this BRZ. I've been driving this car around with this pedal commander installed for about the last 500 miles. I even did a track day with the device. Plugging something like this in is usually pretty straightforward. All you have to do is just yoga pose yourself down by the pedal box, unplug your throttle cable, plug the pedal commander device cables in on both ends, and this will act as kind of an intermediary between your inputs and what's sent to the car's ECM. Uh, you can hard mount the pedal commander on your dashboard or down here. I've opted to use the app today to show us what's going on. Let's start this up and we'll show you guys what this is like to drive. Since I have my device hidden under the dashboard, let's connect to the app. It all connects via Bluetooth. They just updated this so it's all looking a little bit different. We'll connect to our device here. All right, so right now it is off. So we are we have stock throttle response. Nothing has changed, nothing is different. You kind of get a little bit of a rough start with this stock throttle tuning. It's okay, but sometimes it's a bit difficult to drive smoothly. Rev matches, you have to kind of floor the accelerator pedal to get it to rev up and match those RPMs. And I've included a pedal cam in today's video to show you guys what these differences do. All right, so let's turn this on. There are a bunch of different modes, city, eco, sport, and sport plus. Sport plus is pretty much an on off switch for the throttle. I've been playing around mostly in city and sport mode. And then you have eight levels of adjustment to increase response or decrease response within those modes. I really like sport minus four and city minus four. City is just a little bit more of a responsive setting than stock would be. And then sport ramp things, ramps things up a little bit more from there. Sport is if I wanna go out for a spirited drive and just kind of have great response from the engine, be able to heel toe downshift, that's kind of my preferred setting. If I'm just driving around town casually, the city mode I found has been pretty good. So let's start off in that. Eco mode and sport mode are a bit extreme. Eco really dulls down the throttle response to barely anything. And uh, it's honestly not a mode that I'd use on a regular basis. Uh, let's start off in city minus four and we'll show you guys what this is like. So immediately the first thing I noticed once I installed this pedal commander is that it is so much easier to start smoothly from a stop in this BRZ. The throttle is just completely linear. No more weird lurches as you're releasing the clutch. I always thought the rough starts were a bit of a clutch feel issue, but I think it's part of it is the throttle tuning in this BRZ. You can see we have a very linear throttle in this mode. A little bit less effort to rev match downshifts. Now a device like this won't ultimately give your car more power like sometimes they're advertised to on websites, but it will give you more acceleration with less throttle input. So when you put your right foot down, that throttle is going to open up faster depending on what mode you have it in. This is kind of how the BRZ throttle should have been tuned from the factory in my opinion. It's super easy to modulate. The only thing that I have noticed is that there's a lot less 
dead area in the throttle on initial tip in than with what's sta standard or stock. And you can always go back to stock if you want to. Maintaining your speed uh, on the highway, on long stretches of road without using cruise control is a little bit more difficult because you, you can't quite rest your foot on the throttle as much. It takes a little bit less pressure to get acceleration out of the car. It's actually a little bit how the Mazda CX-30 used to drive where just a little bit of throttle input would induce acceleration. I've gotten used to it though after a few hundred miles and I actually really like the way this car drives I'm in the city now. One note, we're also on winter tires today, so handling is going to be a little bit sloppier. We're going to be coming out with a video soon that uh, talks about the winter setup that I have for this car. So stay tuned for that. Gotta love cold weather. The car just feels like it has more power as the temperature drops. It's about 41 degrees outside today. All right, so that's city mode. Really happy with that mode for daily driving. Um, you can see here, so right now we're just cruising on the highway. Let me turn the device off and I'll show you what factory throttle response looks like here on the highway. So immediately you can feel the car start to decelerate with the same amount of throttle pressure. And you can see there's just a little bit, you need a little bit, about an inch of travel before acceleration happens with the factory throttle tuning. Let's turn the device back on again and immediately the car is responding to acceleration with just a little bit of throttle pressure. All right, let's go into my favorite spirited driving mode, sport minus four. I'll show you guys what this is like. This is a bit like sport mode in the WRX or something like that, but it actually feels pretty good. A nice setting for track driving. It really wakes up the car and I think it just makes it a bit more fun to drive. It's more Miata-like and a lot less lazy once you get moving and you're downshifting, you're heel towing, you're coming onto the throttle. It is nice that you're able to tune a device like this and kind of customize it to your own personal driving preferences. how much quicker the throttle opens there in this mode. But I still have a good amount of resolution to accurately determine how much input I want with this car. Let's turn traction control off. <laughs> I've been daily driving the BRZ in sport mode as well. So the nice thing about this, you don't have to turn on the app, connect to it every time you start up the car. Whatever setting you last left it in, whether it's on, whether it's off, whether it's in sport mode, city mode, whatever, will save in the device and you can just let it be. So overall, I'm pretty happy with the way this has turned out. This is a, you know, a little bit of an experiment. I've gotta be honest, I've always been a little bit skeptical of these devices, but for this application, this BRZ, I think it is a very, uh, very nice improvement from what uh, was a bit poor tuning from the factory in my opinion. I found that this week, this Pedal Commander has made this a much more fun and uh, engaging car to drive around. On track, the responsiveness was really pretty cool. 
And then around town in the city, I just find it a little bit easier, a little bit smoother, and uh, a bit more enjoyable to drive all the time. I would like the ability for maybe an advanced mode with this pedal commander where you could kind of tune the acceleration curve or the throttle curve just a bit and uh, tune in a bit more dead pedal action. But a minor complaint and I have adjusted, I have gotten used to driving the car like this. And honestly, it just kind of feels like a cable throttle without that extra pressure needed to push down the throttle. This is a very uh, light spring here with this accelerator pedal. So we've driven around a little bit in Sport Plus. Let's go back to stock. We'll just turn everything off there, press up a quick button and show you guys the difference. It's subtle, but I think it adds up the more you time you spend with the car. And for performance driving, it definitely helps quite a bit. Is it worth 300 bucks compared to an actual tune? I think that's gonna be up to you guys. If you don't wanna tune your car and you wanna leave it stock, you wanna maintain your warranty, I think it's a pretty good way to go. And um, I'm definitely gonna be leaving this installed. I'm not gonna return it or anything. Yeah, there's another start with the factory tune. And it's just a bit lurchy, a little bit difficult to get those shift points perfect with every gear change. That's always been a complaint of mine with the BRZ is that it's just a bit difficult to drive smoothly. Let's go back into sport mode minus four. And this really smooths out the driving experience in this BRZ. Low speed driving is easy. In sport mode, there's a little bit more initial acceleration. And then of course, everything else works as stock. Cruise control isn't affected. That's a completely separate system. All right, so we're back in city mode. So much easier to drive. All right, guys. Well, those are some thoughts on the Pedal Commander and the 2022 Subaru BRZ. Never thought I'd be recommending one of these devices, but uh, I've actually really enjoyed living with it for the last 500 miles. Going to keep it in the car. I'm not really sure whether I'm going to tune this or not. So until then, maybe until some open flash tablet tunes or anything else comes out, this might be a really nice solution. And even after the car is tuned, it is nice to have that flexibility to kind of increase, decrease your throttle response. If I'm going out for a little bit more of an enjoyable spirit of drive, throw it in sport mode. I can change it on the fly on the app. Um, or, you know, if I'm doing a track day, sport mode is perfect for that. And the rest of the time, I'm just leaving it in city. And I'm finding that to be a really nicely tuned mode for this new BRZ. So anyway, guys, it's fixed a major complaint that I've had with this BRZ, the 
the laggy throttle, the roughness between shifts has always been a bit frustrating. Hopefully you found this video helpful. Um, I've just been trying to make little tiny incremental improvements to this BRZ and this car is so much fun right now. I've really been enjoying it. I drove a stock BRZ the other day and there's such a difference with some of the stuff that uh, I've done to this car, even though it's subtle compared to a stock car. The shorter final drive, removing the charcoal filter, the throttle controller has been really nice. Uh, definitely one of my favorite upgrades so far. And uh, I think just as time goes on, we'll just keep making little improvements. Excited to show you guys the winter setup here in another video. We'll wait for some snow for that maybe, or maybe even just a colder day. I'm still getting some break in miles on these tires, so they're still a little bit slippery and squishy. But uh, until then, stay tuned for the next one. We'll see you guys later. Take care.